this season. They've allowed just 15. Mids will start with Pierce Holbrook and goal. Zach Wagner, Jalen Grant, J.D. Wagner defensively for the mids in the midfield. Jason Ayama, Christian Coelho, David Jackson, and Connor Walcott. And Noah Ward up top with Baba Kali for the mids. And we are underway here in Annapolis. Navy and the home whites will attack left to right. Glad to have you along here on ESPN+. Plus. It's an early corner for the mids. Mids coming in off a 2-2 draw. It's the 32nd time that Navy and UMBC have met on the soccer pitch. Navy leads the all-time series, 19 wins to seven losses and five draws. UMBC, they've won three straight coming into this game. They've outscored their opponents in those three games, 11-3. Mids scored off a corner against Lehigh. Jackson goes near post, headed away, looking for no award. Here's Betcher. Throw in here for the Retrievers. Jordan Travers to take it. Betcher finds E. Hart in the middle of the pitch. Dylan Nesterook. Nesterook. Junior from Baltimore, Maryland, Eastern Tech High School. Baltimore County. E. Hart. That pass off the mark as it was, I say, Kelp trying to find Wiglowski here on the near side. J.D. Wagner keeps that in play for the mids, plays it back to his brother, Zach. Ball deflected at midfield, picked it up by Christian Coelho. No award. In some traffic there, and it's taken away there by Ehart. Quickly back the other way, driving forward. Betcher for UMBC. That's a good ball into the 18. Cross back for Betcher, headed up in the air. Loose around the six, knocked out of the 18. And the mid's looking to clear. Walcott trying to find Kyle Lee, but it's knocked down by Travers near midfield. Trevers go back to work. Ehart finding Lott. It's Taruk, long ball, headed there by Kaira. Travers, low cross, cleared away by Coelho. These two teams played last season, a 2-2 draw between Navy and UMBC. Wagner, Ward, Kali at midfield. Plays it back to Jalen Grant. Charlie Creel, far side. Here's Zach Wagner. So it's J.D. Wagner right back, Zach Wagner, Jalen Grant at center back, Charlie Creel at left back, and a back four to start. Coelho and Jackson and Walcott in the midfield. Kali, tip of the spear, the attacking three with Ward to his right. And Ayama to his left, Coelho, Travers, J.D. Wagner, Ward, last touch by him, out for a UMBC throw. Travers, back to Kelp, to Quantrell Jones, getting the start and goal tonight for UMBC. 14th appearance for him this season, 1.16 goals against, 8-4-1 record, has three shutouts on the campaign. Here come the Retrievers again, inside the area. On the cross, back towards the six, it's deflected out by Creel for a corner for the Retrievers. Quick counter there by UMBC. Usta to take the corner. Sophomore from Frankenburg, Germany. Usta with the left foot, drives it towards the near post. Lot back to Usta. 
Just a battling there, a little pull of the jersey on the far side. Coelho will drive it away. Throw in far side for the Retrievers. Five minutes into the contest. And a foul and a whistle there by Sean Papperman, our match official tonight, assisted by Connor McCloskey and Israel Campos. Here's Usta to tee this one up. Also lot there for UMBC. Usta to drive it in towards the back post and headed wide there. Ball played in and it was uh, Kelp going for the header. That's Tarek. Back to Jones. Jones overshoots Travers here on the near side. Throw in for J.D. Wagner in the mids. Flicked on by Noah Ward. Kelp drives it back across midfield and out of play and into the stands here at the Glen Warner Soccer Facility. Wagner, back to Wagner. J.D. to Zach, and Zach looking long for Kali. Kali in between the two central defenders. Kali trying to get to the loose ball and he pushes off there against uh, Kelp and referee says play on. Surprised that Jones didn't come out and grab that one. Headed forward there by Betcher. Betcher. It's Ehart, Ehart. His pass is intercepted by Zach Wagner. Played back to Pierce Holbrook. Holbrook looking long for Ward. Travers wins the header there. Thatcher with the flick forward. Tayera cuts to his right. Able to find Roblelski right on the edge of the area. That ball played back in and Holbrook from Hans Nesheim. And right back getting forward for UMBC. Nesheim, a junior from Norway. It's been dangerous pushing up that right side for the Retrievers. Holbrook had to do well there to, you saw there on the replay, to his right and down low to grab that cleanly. Kali. Three guys around him. It deflects off of Travers, and a foul is going to be called on UMBC. A little shirt tug there. David Jackson, free kick specialist for the mids. Leads the team with the three assists on the season. Also leads the team with five goals. He'll set up this free kick opportunity. Jackson drives it in towards the six. Wagner got a piece of it. No award with a chance. And they'll say Jones got a piece of that one, but no award with a great chance here early on. And Quantrell Jones coming up big for UMBC in between the pipes to deflect it over. Good ball initially played in by Jackson. Here's another replay. Comes back towards the top of the 18. Good first touch by Ward. And then Jones just gets enough to direct it over. Montreal Jones with a big save here early on for the Retrievers. Jackson take the corner here as we're back to live action. Ten minutes in. Jackson, another good ball in. Jalen Grant with the header, and that goes onto the roof of the net. So the mids who saw, uh, scored off a corner on their last game against Lehigh. Nearly cashing in on those two 
set piece opportunities. One off a free kick, one off a corner. Montrell Jones, big goalkeeper, 6'3", 230 from Baltimore, Maryland. Went to Kenwood High School. Jones drives that ball to midfield. Zach Wagner wins the header there. As Tarrook wins it back, and now a ball played over the top. Kali trying to track that one down as it fell to him in the top of the area. Him and Wagner both on the scene. They could not, uh, actually Walcott, excuse me. It's picked up by J.D. Wagner. Wagner plays a square ball for David Jackson. Jackson to his right, long range effort. That'll go well over. But it was Walcott that got in the way there of Kali, both kind of searching for it at the top of the area. A couple chances there for the mids. Good start here for Navy here in the first half. We play in the 11th minute and we're scoreless. We mentioned UMBC coming into this game. They've won three straight, but that was coming off of a three game losing streak for them. They lost to St. Joe's, Albany, and New Hampshire, two of those on the road. They recovered back at home up at UMBC Stadium with a 5-1 decision over UMass Lowell. He was out off of UMBC and a throw in for Navy. It's kind of been a streaky season for UMBC. They opened with four straight wins to start the campaign, including an 8-2 win over Fairfield, who the Mids played that same weekend. E. Hart with the header. Ward. Walcott. Try and return the ball to Ward. Fetcher wins the header over Coelho. There's J.D. Wagner battling here, and he's found. The UAC opened the season with four straight wins. Then they drew at Fordham, lost on the road to Mount St. Mary's. It's been a different team for them on the road this season. You look at their success at home. They are 6 and 1 up until the last two road wins though. They had struggled on the road. They were 0 3 and 1, but they do come into this game off the backs of two consecutive road wins at Delaware, beating the Blue Hens 4-2 and beating Bryant 2-0. Ravers with the throw in. Ehart again with the header. That's sure. Kaira, last touch by Navy. Kali and Travers kind of collide there. Travers, a junior from Urbana, Maryland. Transfer out of Mount St. Mary's as well. Mentioned Pete Karinji, the head coach, in his 32nd season. Anthony Adams is the associate ho head coach. He's in his 26th season, so a lot of continuity at UMBC soccer. There is the number 10, Ustad, driving forward and having that knocked away for a throw in on the far side. Nesheim will take it. Back to midfield, and here's Lasse Kelp. Trying to find Ustal on the far side. It's headed away there by Creel. Here's Nesheim. Usta back to Nesheim. The return ball looking for Betcher just outside the six, and it's well defended by the mids. Here's Kali on the turn. Playing on the outside for Jason Ayama. Gonna feed it back to Kali with the pass out in front of him, and Jones can pick it up and get it to Lasse Kelp. Kelp. Looking long. J.D. Wagner with the header. Trying to chase it down was Kaira. Here's no award. Sandwiched between two UABC players. Ball comes free. Picked up by Rebelski. Coelho. J.D. Wagner plays it back to Pierce Holbrook. Holbrook. Down near side, Wagner. Ball's been on this side of the field a ton here early in this game. Coelho. Back for Grant. Jalen Grant. Trying to squeeze that ball in, but Rebelski. Lewski, excuse me, with the 
knock away. Long ball looking for Kali, and Jones plays the hop perfectly. Tilt. Nesteruk. Nesheim. Nesteruk. Jones. 15 minutes into this game, no score. Travers with the flicked on header. Wagner sends it back to Travers at midfield. Kelp back for Jones. Earhart, Kelp, Travers. Long ball, Holbrook was off his line, so he's gonna get to this one. Betcher making that diagonal run towards the top of the area. Tough connection there. Mids played out of the field of play for a throw in far side for UMBC. <coughs> Nessheim. Coelho will pick it off in the middle of the park. Coelho, tough ball, finds Wagner though. Here's J.D. Wagner pushing forward for the mids. Ooh, nearly got Ward in stride there, but Travers does a good job defending there to knock it free. Here's Walcott to his left, Jason Ayama. Ayama outside the area, cuts it back to his right, finds David Jackson. Jackson back to Ayama, cuts in the middle of the field. Is it near side here for Wagner? J.D. Wagner plays it towards the end line. Noah Ward, though, can't get there. Good idea, but pass just a little bit too out in front of Noah Ward. Goal kick here for the Retrievers. Navy football returns to Annapolis for back-to-back -back home games. To close out the month of October, the midshipmen will host Houston at noon on October 22nd, that's this Saturday, followed by a 3.30 kickoff versus Temple on Senior Day, October 29th. For tickets, call 1-800-US-4-NAVY or visit navysports.com. J.D. Wagner to take the throw. Bob Kali finds no award. No award to square ball David Jackson. Jackson trying to return it to Ward there, a little chip ball, but it's intercepted by UMBC. Lewski, play that ball down the line. And it's out of play, Lewski, oh, might have got it deflected, but they say no, Navy throw in. Coelho, J.D. Wagner, throw in near side here for Navy. J.D. Wagner to take it. Mids have not won since uh, September 28th against Lafayette. They drew Boston University to start the month. And of course, uh, a couple Fridays ago, we were in Chester for the Army Navy matchup, a 2 0 loss. And the weekend Saturday, drew Lehigh 2 2. Late goal conceded there. No, this is not a conference game. Certainly would like to get back on track. Before they head up to Worcester on Saturday, take on Holy Cross. That game, a 1 o'clock game. You can find that on ESPN+. Plus. Jalen Grant, Christian Coelho, plays it back for Holbrook. Yama trying to go up there against uh, Nesheim. Nesheim, 6'3", junior. Yama do, does draw the foul, so a free kick here for the mids. Jackson quickly back near side, Noah Ward. Ward keeps that ball in play. It goes off of Travers out for a Navy throw. Noah Ward. It'll return ball back from Walcott. Ward slides it in for Walcott. Walcott square ball back to the six. Kelly with the goal. A wonderful team goal by the midshipmen who take the lead 
here in the first half. In the 20th minute, Navy leads it 1-0. Well, it doesn't get much better than this as a team goal. Ward slides it into Walcott. Walcott could have taken the shot, but he is it right back to the six to Kali, who does not panic. Baba Kali gets his fourth goal of the season. Connor Walcott picks up the assist. So Walcott, who uh, picked up the assist on Noah Ward's goal on Saturday against Lehigh, has a two-game scoring streak as he picks up the assist here. Mids uh, take the lead here at home over the Retrievers. Well worked goal down the right side for Navy. Here's Usta. They drive it forward. Usta. As a, a hero is tripped up. Referee says, yes, indeed, a foul. So free kick here in a dangerous spot for UMBC. They'll pull it back a little bit here. We have seen UMBC uh, counter quickly here tonight, especially down that right side. That's where it seems like they prefer to push it down that flank. like Kelp is teeing this one up with four UMBC players surrounding the ball right now. Kelp, a freshman from Bonn, Germany. It takes the quick shot. And that one off target there. It looked like it might be sort of a complicated set piece with the unique build up, but the just a straight on shot there. Zusta, heavy touch. And now Kali can chase this one down. Kali's gonna get there. Kava Kali with the goalie out and Cottrell Jones. Well off his line, has to make the save. A little something from nothing there for Baba Kali. I think uh, Nesteruk just misread that initial ball and Kali was able to get over top of it and beat him to the loose ball. The shot off Jones makes the save, but the mids do get a corner out of it here. Jackson to take it. Jackson drives it towards the far post, headed away there. Jason Ayama will have a go at it. Can't put it on target. the halfway point of this first half. With Navy in front, 1-0. Goal scored by Baba Kali in the 20th minute. Walcott and Ward the assist. Noel Ward getting his third assist of the season. That ties him to team high with David Jackson. Earhart, the captain, plays it back. Long ball headed down by J.D. Wagner. Here's Earhart. Flipped away by Coelho. Kaira, Travers. That's a tough ball to deal with. Oyama just 
able to nick it away there from Nisteruk. And I don't know, I don't think they're calling a foul here. They're just stopping the play for Ayama who goes down. That was a difficult ball for the center back, Nisteruk, to handle. And we'll see with the replay here. Heavy touch here, kind of deflects off his left leg. Surprised the ref did not call a foul there. I don't believe he did, but it looked like Steruk got more of Ayama than the ball there. If we could see that replay one more time, Steruk might consider himself a little bit lucky here. There it is. Let's see if he. He does get the, does look like he does get the ball there before Ayama. So he does beat Ayama there to the ball just barely. And Jason, who's dealt with some injuries this season, is slowly walking off the field now. And obviously the mids who have had to juggle the lineup. You see the follow through getting Ayama on the left leg. Mids have like a lot of teams had to juggle the lineup here. You can see there, Yama, ankle twisted a little bit. And hopefully he's gonna be able to return to this game. Back underway, it'll just be a drop ball for UMBC. So no foul there. And at second glancing, it did look like Sarah got the ball first, so. Ayera, back the other way for the Retrievers. Oswa Robbins has checked in. He's dealt with his own injuries this season for Ayama. Jago Lott, pushing it forward. Here's a nice ball. Not a bad chance there from Ismail Jean Usta. Twenty minutes to play here in the first half. No, we're trying to chest that down. Great recovery by him to win the ball back. Fantastic job there by. No award. Ehart, in the forward, knocked down there. Batcher at midfield. Far side, Nassim. Long angled ball in, looking for Kaira. Real trying to drive it back the other way, but it's knocked down by Betcher there. Pocket of space there for Lot. Finds Travers down this left side. He'll cross it first time ball towards the six. Looking for Kaira. Robbins got a, a piece of that one as Usta has to chase it down. Usta, nice speed there. Long range shot. What a goal! Are you serious? Ismail Jean Usta with an absolute spectacular goal there to tie this game up at one. Wow, wow, wow. Now, you'll see the turn here. And this long range bullet to the top corner. What a spectacular goal there. Ismail Jean Usta, sophomore from Franken. Berg, Germany with an absolute top shelf goal to tie this game at one. Not a lot Pierce Holbrook could do about that one. J.D. Wagner, take the throw in here for the mids. Tied at one. We expected goals tonight, UMBC coming in. They've averaged uh, 2.5 goals per game. Navy averaging 1.17 goals per game, but UMBC's Right around that on their given up this season. They've scored 33, given up 15. 
Robbins on the far side for the base. Finds David Jackson. Jackson, Creel. UMBC preparing their first uh, sub of the evening. Creel with a push on Usta and a foul's gonna be called and a free kick here for the Retrievers. Creel sliding in to win that one back. Jalen Grant plays it to Zach Wagner back to Pierce Holbrook. Holbrook, long ball, looking for Creel. And hop over top of them. Robbins trying to keep the ball in play. That'll go out for UMB. Throw at midfield and the Retrievers still waiting to make that sub. They've had two chances and now they will do it. Robleski coming off the junior from Poznan, Poland, Wooten, Maryland, and Mount St. Mary's. He is off, and William Forby, a junior from Denmark, checks in. Now in the game for UMBC, number 18, William Forby, and in the game for Navy, number 28, Washburn Roberts. Back to Jones at a 1-1 game here in the first half. It's been a good first half. Here's Kelp. Kind of what we expected back and forth. A lot of action. Ehart. Tayera. Is it on the outside? Usta. He's got that stunner of a goal. A little one two there with Nesheim. Nesheim in return ball. Trying to find Betcher there just outside the six. Mids def defend it well. Betcher able to win it back. Here's Usta. Gives way for Nesheim. Finds Lott in the middle of the park. Back near side, Travers. Travers. Lott. Nesheim far side as the retriever switch fields. 16 minutes to go here in this first half. Kelp. Tyera couldn't connect there with Forby and a goal kick for the mids. Thirtieth minute in Annapolis, one one. Trying to find Nesheim and Usta will try to chase it down. He wins that ball back. Nesheim, far side. It's terrible. Kelp. Ehart. Kelp. Time won't be able to get them in a unforced turnover there by UMBC. Creel with the throw in. Kali just outside the area on the turn. Kali. Then in. Good ball in for Walcott. Can't get there. Travers with the header. JD Wagner, top of the area. JD. there with Charlie Creel, ball knocked free. Ehart back the other way. Pass too far in front there intended for Tayera. Zach Wagner able to win it back to Holbrook. Travers before touch. Ward's tripped up and free kick here for the mids. Navy women's soccer returns to Glen Warner on Friday, October 21st for their final home match of the regular season. Kickoff is set for 5 p.m. But fans are encouraged to get to the stadium early as we'll be honoring our senior class prior to the start of the game. In addition, fans in attendance will receive a free Halloween candy bucket upon arrival to the stadium. That's next Friday, 
or this Friday, I should say, October 21st, at the Glen Warner Soccer Facility. Can't make it out. We'll have it on ESPN Plus for you. Oh, nice job, Coelho, running onto that ball. It's deflected out for a Navy corner. Little fortuitous bounce there for Coelho, who drives it back across the six, and it's out for a corner. Jackson to take this corner for the mids. In swinging corner by the right footer. Nice ball in, Jalen Grants. Can't steer that one on target. And a goal kick here for UMBC. Retrievers will make another change here. Jones on the restart. Zach Wagner wins the header. Spencer Hanks with his first touch, a sophomore from Odington at Arundel High School into the game for UMBC. Jones. Looking for the aforementioned Hanks on the far side. Hanks with some space to run into here. Pass a little bit behind there of Kyera. Coelho wins it back to Robbins. Oscar Robbins looking for Kali. Reflected down. Montrell Jones will call for it outside his area. I say Kelp. Here's Kelp. Good ball over the top. Nayera, nice little first touch. Plays it across, the shot gets deflected at the six and then cleared away by Zach Wagner. That's high. Hanks. Betcher with a ambitious first touch there. Almost completely controlled it. Here's Creel. Valley Creel pushing forward for the mids. Mids set to make their first changes. Outside of the injury substitution as Jason Ayama left earlier. About 10 minutes to play here in the first half. J.D. Wagner with some space here. Wagner down the right side. Wagner with Ward to his right. Plays in. Ward, Ward, first time ball gets deflected. Jones pushes it out. I think it was going out anyway. It was going to be a corner either way. Mids with 10 minutes to play here in this first half. We'll have a corner here in a 1-1 game. Jackson slowly going to the corner flag to take this one. Mids will wait to make the change here after the corner. Jackson drives it in towards the six, deflected back out. Robbins has it here for Navy. Also Robbins towards the end line here. Robbins trying to cut it back, deflected again, and Jones will scoop this one up right along the end line. Quick outlet pass. Comes UMBC, long ball played back near side for Forby here, but Holbrook will wait on it at the top of the area to scoop it up for the mids. Zach Wagner to his left for Jalen Grant. Far side, Charlie Creel. Here's Grant. Here's Zach Wagner. Coelho, ball intercepted there by Betcher. Ayera, 
Ball flicked through, nicely done inside the area, but getting back there defending were the mids. I think Creel got a piece of it. Here's Lott. Lott for Nesheim. Creel there to intercede and send it away for a throw in on the far side. Eight and a half to go here in this first half, tied at one. Nesheim. They go lot. Switch back near side for Travers. Here's Kelp. Line drive towards the six. Jalen Grant wins the header there. Jackson moves it farther out, but Lott was there for UMBC. Nesheim. Nesteruk. Kelp. Nesteruk. Pushes across midfield. Low ball played in, nicely done. Trying to find Betcher, he did. It's a tough ball and a good one though from Nesteruk. A little foul there on Jackson and a free kick here for the mids. That'll allow Navy to make the change. Thought they were gonna make the change but they'll wait on that. Grant. Kelp read that beautifully. Lost the ball, though, at midfield to Coelho. Here's J.D. Wagner. Wagner looking for Kali. Jones off his line. Kali made contact with Jones. So he called for a foul and get a conversation here with the referee. Kelp back for Jones. Chested down there by Forby. Diarro. Diarro. Travers sliding down to knock it free. It was uh, Zach Wagner. Thirty ninth minute here in Annapolis. Tied at one. Grant back towards midfield. Kali. Walcott. Here's Jackson, mishit that one. Back towards the defensive end. Creel picks it up, Coelho. Back to Zach Wagner. Wagner looking for Kali. Kelp got a piece of the ball and a piece of Kali. Ball right through the middle, center circle. Coelho is there for the mids. Coelho. Grant, Creel, Robbins, back for Grant. Just under six minutes to play here in this first half. 1-1, one, one. Holbrook. Zach Wagner will look long, looking for Kali. Header one there by Kelp. Balls for Nesheim. Plays it back to Nesteruk, Nesheim, back for his keeper Jones, Jones, Forby, lost it there to Noah Ward, Walcott got a piece of it, here's Ward driving for Noah Ward who has an assist tonight so far, heavy touches but he finds JD Wagner Wagner to cross it to flex it out for a corner so the mids able to get a corner here with five minutes to play in the first half both teams set to make those changes here Walcott to take the corner here for the mids. Walcott drives that ball in. Good ball in. A little shove in the back there. No, nothing called there as Zach Wagner came through. Here's Kevin Heilman. Heilman just onto the field, taken down, and the referee says get up. 
That's going to be one to look at. I'm not sure there was a lot of contact, but I'm also pretty sure the UMBC player did not get anywhere close to the ball there. <laughs> Walcott, J.D. to Zach Wagner. Jalen Grant, far side, Charlie Creel. So A.J. Schutz is on, Kevin Heilman on for the mids. Also on for Navy is Tommy Lockhart. That will get out of play for a goal kick. UMBC set to make another change. Now the game for UMBC, number 22, Tyler Harry. Tyler Harry, junior from Perry Hall. Archbishop Curley checks in for the Retrievers. Ball deflects through. There's Lockhart on the near side for the mids. Lockhart started three games early this season, but hasn't played as much here recently. Get the chance this evening. There's J.D. Wagner. Two minutes to go here in this first half. Coelho. Charlie Creel on the far side. Plays it back for Jalen Grant. Square ball. Back for Zach Wagner. Laid it over the top. Good run there by Creel. Creel keeps it in play and trying to cross. He lost his footing while he was trying to cross it there and it goes out of play for a retriever goal kick. Forty fourth minute here in Annapolis first half, tied at one. Robin Kali scored in the twentieth minute. From Connor Walcott and Noah Ward. And then UMBC equalized in the 26th minute. Ismail Jean Usta with a spectacular goal for the Retrievers to tie this game up at one. Close it in on the final minute here. Kayara with a head on it there and goes back to the six. Picked up there by Holbrook. Down there, loose ball. Knocked back by Kelp. Creel sends it back into the UMBC end just to be drilled back to the Navy end. Jalen Grant chasing that one down the far side. Grant plays it back to his keeper. Holbrook lobs that one back near side for Wagner. He chests it down. Final 14 seconds here. Lockhart slips. Ten, UMBC nine, wins possession two, back. Seven, six, five, four, and that'll do three, it for the first half of play. Two, Good first half. One, zero. Pretty even. Shots in favor of the mids, eight to six. And on the scoreboard, we are locked tied at one all. Halftime here in Annapolis. It's UMBC one, Navy one. We've got Navy men's soccer on ESPN Plus. Seven o'clock against Army. They will also be playing Saturday at Holy Call, uh, against Holy Cross at 4 o'clock. My right, betcher to get us underway here in the second half. We are ready to go here for the second 45 in a 1-1 game here in Annapolis. UMBC will attack left to right in this second half. In the black road uniforms, mids in the home all white, trimmed on the side and blue. Blue numerals outlined in gold. Christian Coelho. Nice layoff there by Kevin Heilman. Heilman trying to 
connect with Connor Walcott. Usta, a heavy touch. Esheim looking long for Ayera. Jalen Grant knocking it free. Jalen making his ninth start of the season tonight for the mids at center back. Coelho sliding down and losing possession that time with AJ shoots. Here's uh, Cairo going down in the area. Referee says no foul. Heilman wins the header at midfield and Taylor Cairo still down in the box. Second on the team with seven goals and six assists on the campaign. Era. Having a conversation here with the official. Honestly, I didn't see much in it on the initial challenge, but it's had a first half, late first half call for a penalty themselves that uh, was waved off by Sean Paperman, our match referee tonight. Jones plays it long for Usta. Free Coelho. Lockhart near side shoots. Trying to make a move there on Nesheim and he loses possession of it. Two minutes into the second half and a 1-1 game here at the Glen Warner soccer facility. Good ball played far side for Travers. Travers. Towards the end line, Travers here. Nice ball back towards the six. Jalen Grant there to head it away. Far side, J.D. Wagner goes down and a foul's gonna be called as Wagner was knocked to the turf and a free kick here for the mids. Pierce Holbrook will take this free kick. Lebleski will throw in far side. Lebleski punched away there. Long ball played for Kevin Heilman. Heilman kind of on his own there. UBC able to win it back. Quantrell Jones back near side. And that's going to flutter out of play for a Navy throw. Creel looking for Heilman. Reflected back towards the middle of the park. Walcott nearly latched onto it and it's driven away. And now the race is on. Kaira with Jalen Grant. Jalen Grant will win that race. Back to Holbrook. Sam Creel starting the second half. More as a right midfield player right now. We saw. Robbins come in after Jason Ayama got injured. But Creel gets to start here in the second half. Ball knocked free. Picked up by Lockhart. He finds Schutz. Schutz trying to drive it forward. We'll leave it there for Charlie Creel. Of course, Sam has started early in the season the first four games at right back for the mids. And here is Creel. Far side. Creel. Chips the ball in, Heilman back towards the end line, plays it back towards the penalty spot. Ball be picked off by Zach Wagner at midfield. Creel just off the uh, toe of Coelho and quickly back here come the retrievers, Kaira. Stood up though in the middle of the park, nicely done by Zach Wagner. Here's Sam Creel on the far side. Creel cutting infield, flicks it on the outside for Heilman. Heilman. Against Lasse Kelp there, far side for the Retrievers. Plays it back to J.D. Wagner. To his brother, Zach. Zach 
Angles that ball in, headed on by Lockhart. Nicely done, Heilman brings it down. Does beautifully inside the area towards the end line. Travers knocks it down and it's cleared away. Nice little work there by the mids though. That was good stuff from Navy on the buildup. Out for a UMBC throw at midfield. Fifty-first minute here in Annapolis. We are tied at one. UMBC not in any hurry to take this throw. Travers will play it back to Kelp. Kelp. Nesteruk. Usta. Usta. Nesheim. Lot. That ball knocked away by Lockhart. Sloppy ball across the middle of the park there by UMBC. Luckily, they get it back for them. That's high. Usta towards the end line. Cuts back to his left. Usta has it picked away there by the mids. Connor Walcott finds Lockhart in the middle of the park. Lockhart, the slow down play here for the mids. Low ball finds Sam Creel on the outside. Creel trying to play in J.D. Wagner. Wagner has to wait on it a little bit. Cuts it back. Sent to Creel. Here's Coelho pushed in the back there. And throw in for Navy. Here's Heilman battling there with Travers on the far side. Sam Creel keeps it in play. Besher. Kaira, Kaira driving down the left side, slide, tackle, goes off of UMBC as Zach Wagner wins that ball back for the mids. We came in talking about Betcher, 10 goals and eight assists on the season. He's been too involved in what UMBC has done offensively so far tonight. Grant, Creel. Charlie, that is. Looking for Heilman, who's had a nice little spell of play to start this second half for the mids. Goes all the way through, and it's going to be picked up by Quantrell Jones. Jones swings it back near side. Sturk. Nesheim. Usta. From behind, shoots trying to run him down and able to win the ball back for the mids. Finds Charlie Creel. Coelho shoots, and that's intercepted, though, by UMBC. Ball knocked free. It'll be a throw in here near side for the Retrievers. Here's Betcher. Mids kind of deflect their own clearance attempt. And a throw in here for Nesheim and UMBC. Here's Betcher. Cleared back towards midfield. Kelp will chase it down. Kelp, high angled ball in for Usta, headed away by Charlie Creel. Here's Usta. Nesheim. Shoots battling with him in the corner. That's how I'm trying to win a corner. Shoots gets the ball though. Creel. Connor Walcott sliding that ball through lot. And then the captain coming over Ehart to put a clamp on that counter by the mids. Fifty fifth minute. One one here in Annapolis. Ball played back for Jones. Heilman putting the pressure on. So will Lockhart here. Kelp will send it long. Knotted down by Zach Wagner, but it's picked up here by UMBC. Driving forward here is Lovelski. Wagner. 
Wagner. Square ball for Jalen Grant. Grant push it forward. Sam Creel, far side. Grant. Lockhart. Nice ball here near side for Charlie Creel. Ball played behind there. Shoots. Uh, maybe a little miscommunication there. Kelp. He'll look long again. Zach Wagner there to intercede. J.D. Wagner trying to knock it away from Kyra, and he does, and wins it back. Coelho along the turf for Lockhart. Creel, first time ball, shoots, trying to get in between the center backs. And Nessheim there to bump him off the ball there. Failed clearance attempt, deflects to the far sideline for Heilman. Here's Creel again, cutting inside. Long range shots. Over the target. Mid set to make three changes here. Now Kali coming in. Also no award back in the game for the mids. David Jackson back in for the mids as well. Back in the game for mid, number nine, Bala Kali, number 13, no award, number 14, David Jackson. It's a handball. It's first half didn't pressure much as UMBC was bringing the ball out of their back, but you know, high pressure here early on against the Retrievers. Let's see. UMBC claiming there was a handball as Creel played it back to Jackson. And the referee will stop the clock and have a conversation with his AR here. Davey and Jackson claiming they were just setting up the free kick. AR has a good smile, and the mids will get a free kick out of this. Off the handball by UMBC. Jackson trying to switch fields. Tough ball. Travers heads it away. Throw in far side for the mids. No award. We'll leave it there. Sam Creel stays in. It was J.D. Wagner, so Creel will play that right back spot. J.D. Wagner has the seat. Sam has a goal on the season. He'll take this long throw. Closing in on the hour mark here in Annapolis in a 1-1 game. Creel, the line drive throw. Travers heads it back towards midfield. Jalen Grant. Creel with some pressure on him. Creel chased there by Betcher. Plays it back to his keeper, Holbrook. See if he can't get the header there. It's out of play for a UMBC throw. That's time to take it. Jones. Travers chests it down far side. Ward there to knock it out of play, though, for a throw in far side. Just one shot here in the first uh, well, nearly 15 minutes of this first half. Kelp finds a lot here. Lesky on the far side. Kyra laid it in. It's intercepted by Charlie Creel. As AJ shoots. Plays back to Holbrook. High ball towards this near sideline and out of play. Throw in for UNBC. Creel trying to clear it away. Off of Kyra. Jackson back for Grant. Kelp wins the header at midfield. Ball cut. Kyra trying to slide it through there for Usta. 
Nessheim plays it back in the midfield to Lott. It's knocked away by Schutz and off of Nessheim for a throw in here for the mids. Hill to take it here. Kali shoots. Creel back to shoots. We reached the hour mark. 60 minutes in. Half hour to go here in Annapolis. And a 1 1 game. Nice slide tackle there by Wibleski. Kyera on the loose ball picks it up. Kyera. Wibleski to his left, and now Kyera. Takes it to the outside. Cuts back in on the right. You could tell Kyara wanted to take that shot. He had a runner to his left. Cuts back. And with three mids around him, takes the long range shot. First shot of the second half for UNBC. Holbrook on the restart. Kali loses his shoe in that challenge. UMBC. Robleski. On the outside, Travers. First time ball. That's well off the mark. Well, in the first half, we saw a player lose his shin guard in a challenge. <laughs> I haven't seen that too many times. And then Kali loses his shoe in a challenge here in the second half. Brook with the goal kick here. A little bit more of a cagey second half after we were pretty wide open in the first half. Foul's going to be called on the mids. UMBC looking for a car, not going to get one here. And both these teams out of conference game here late in the season, right in the heart of the conference campaign for both these teams. It's still important for momentum. We talked about UMBC. They've won three straight coming in this game. The mids have gone three straight without a win. Both were looking to get things going. Offside's flag is going to be up, and it does come up for Kali. And Kali takes the shot. That's a no-no. And the referee, who talked to Kali earlier for some contact with Contrell Jones. We'll not give him a card here, but it's the second time he's had to say something to Kali here. Switch fields for Usta here on the near side. Usta trying to split the double team there. Long run by Creel on his own. Intercepted at midfield. Back comes Jago Lotz. Lot Kair looking for Betcher. UBC able to win it back. Ehart. Travers on the far side. Kelp. Trying to find Travers, and Travers kept that ball in play, at least for the moment, no. Goal kick here for Navy. Navy men's soccer returns to Glen Warner Saturday, October 12th. 29th for a noon matchup with in-state rival Loyola. Be sure to get to the stadium early as we'll be honoring our senior class prior to the start of the game. In addition, fans in attendance will receive a free Halloween candy bucket upon arrival at the stadium. That's Saturday, October 29th at the Glen Warner Soccer Facility for Navy and Loyola here in men's soccer. That should be a huge game. It's all chipped forward for Cully when we look at the Patriot League standings and tournament seeding and still very much to be played for with Nine points still up for grabs for the mids in the rest of the league. 
Walcott plays it back for Zach Wagner. Coelho, Jalen Grant. Grant trying to find it back to Coelho. It works out in the end. And here's Charlie Creel. Creel over the top playing for A.J. Schutz. Schutz racing onto this one. And it's flicked away. And a corner is won by the mids. Sixty-sixth minute here in Annapolis. Tied at one. David Jackson to take this corner for the mids. Mids got a couple really good opportunities off of corners in the first half. Jackson to swing this one in towards the six, and it's headed away there by Nessheim. Shoots back to Christian Coelho. Coelho. High arcing ball played to the back of the box. Travers to head it away. Cairo on the far side keeps it in play. Back for Travers. Travers going to find Beckcher. And it's picked up there. It's J.D. Wagner running onto the loose ball. Finds Noah Ward on the outside. Noah Ward going to work towards the end line. Ward, his cross is deflected out. It'll be another corner here for the mids. So Coelho back in. Also, we saw J.D. Wagner check back in for the mids. Tommy Lockhart also in for Navy here. And it'll be another corner, this time on the far side for Jackson. Low line drive towards the near post. Jalen Grant rising up to that one, but it's headed away. Walcott. Jackson. That one deflects out for another Navy corner. The third corner here for the mids in the last minute of action. Sixty seventh minute corner here for the mids. One one game. Jackson. Another low line drive. It's headed away. Out to as far as Connor Walcott. Walcott right footed shot. Not what he wanted to do there. Just the third combined shot between these two teams here in the second half. We had 14 in the first half. Charles Jones take this goal kick. Bounces over everybody in the midfield. It's picked up, though, by initially Jalen Grant, now David Jackson. Plays that ball in for Noah Ward. Ward will get there first. Travers, though, spot on defending by him. Plays it out for a throw in for the mids. Betcher getting back to knock that one away. Jackson. J.D. Wagner, no award. Here's David Jackson. Back to J.D. Wagner. Here's no award. Wagner draw that one in. Deflects down for Connor Walcott. Walcott with a shot and goes wide. A couple chances here for Connor Walcott in the second half. Off a UMBC player. Not an easy ball for Walcott to get to, but still a chance for the mids. Jackson can't win the ball at midfield. Kyara playing it in nicely. Uh, and an offside flag is up. Robleski just straight off sides. And we've seen this from UMBC it tonight. They're attacking. You know, it's not been a, a ton of build-up play. It's been mostly these quick counters that they've been able to connect on that have uh, created their best chances of the night. Kelp in 
is the initial header. Noah Ward wins the ball, though. Ward cuts the middle of the field here. Noah Ward trying to flick it through. Ball go out of play. Charlie Creel will take the throw. 20 minutes left to go in this one. A really cautious first half, uh, second half after a pretty open first half. Creel, Coelho. Here's J.D. Wagner. Ward on the turn. Ward playing it in there for Kali. Kali trying to leave it there for David Jackson. Kaira, the outlet here for UMBC. Zach Wagner. Ball angled, ball for shoots. It falls for Kali here. Here's Baba Kali. Goal score in the first half. Kali plays it far side for Noah Ward. Ward. Playing in JD Wagner making the overlapping war run. Deflected back towards the top of the area. Walcott chest it down, takes the shot. That was the closest of his three opportunities here in the second half. The sophomore, Connor Walcott, keep knocking on the door. Here's this chance. He's chested down from 19 yards out. Didn't miss by much. Couple of UMBC players went down after that last one, and Montreal Jones talking to his teammates. He stopped the clock because of the injuries. Navy even make a change here. No player went out for UMBC. A couple players went down just to stretch. Jones plays it back near side for Nesheim. Hans Nesheim. Really active game for UMBC. Kelp. Back to Jones. Mids will pressure there. Jones putting a lot in some danger there with that pass. But they break the pressure. Kaira trying to play it in. Chasing it down here near side, but a little bit off the mark there on the pass to Forby. Throw in for the mids. Seventy second minute here in Annapolis. Tied at one. Kali, the goal for the mids in the twentieth minute. Usta equalized in the twenty sixth minute for UMBC. And here is Usta on the run. They've put him on the left side now. And Jay, Zach Wagner, excuse me, clearing it out back towards midfield. Cap in play by UMBC. Here's Travers. That's hot. Orby. Kaira. Edge of the area. Kaira cuts to his left, playing it back for Forby. Nice recovery run by David Jackson to knock it free. Kaira drives it in, headed out by Zach Wagner. Lockhart didn't get full contact on the initial clearance. Kaira. That ball played behind uh, Lott. And chase it down. Travers on the far side. Pressured by Ward. Here's Kelp pushing forward. Kelp crossing it in. Creel heads it away. That's hot. Forby. Goes out of play off of UMBC. Navy throw. I think you'll see the pace pick up here in the final 15 minutes with a win on the line here between these two teams. That's hot. The header. Kaira. This time it's Betcher with the header. Nesheim. Kaira. 
Cuts to his left. Tayera plays it back across, headed away by J.D. Wagner. Here's Lott. Nessheim. Kelp. Hart. E. Hart. Wins it back. E. Hart. Kaira. Three Navy players on him. Ball knocked free. And Coelho looking to spring Kali. Long ball played in front of the UMBC bench out for a retriever throw. Tarek. Lot. Miss Tarek. Jones. Trying to find Travers. Not an easy ball to connect with. And out for a Navy throw. Not a bad idea, but a tough pa pass to execute here. 15 minutes to go in Annapolis in a 1-1 game. Forby battling with Jackson there. Usta, Travers, long ball. Jalen Brandt able to handle that one. Ayara. Nearly able to latch onto that one. Ismail Jean Usta to take this throw for UMBC. He's the goal scorer tonight. Ehart. Usta dribbles through two. Laying it back for Betcher. Betcher. In some traffic and cleared away by Lockhart. Kelp wins it right back. Long range shot, and Holbrook to his left makes the save. Lasse Kelp from long range. Kelp does not have a goal in the season, but he tests Holbrook here. And big save after the center back spanks this one from long range. Holbrook pushing that one aside on a corner here for UMBC. Just the second corner tonight for the Retrievers. Mids have nine. This will be UMB's sec uh, second of the evening. Usta to take it. Chilly night here at the Glen Warner Soccer Facility. 50 degrees when we started the second half. Luckily, not a lot of wind. Usta driving that ball in. Good ball headed down and goes wide. What a chance there for their leading goal scorer, Ryan Betcher. There's no award. Back the other way for the mids. Across midfield. Stumbling. Gets it to Jackson. Return ball. Finds no award. Back near side for Charlie Creel. Creel. He's in Lockhart. AJ shoots. Good first touch there with some pressure on him. Finds Charlie Creel. Creel. Square ball for Christian Coelho. Coelho. Far side, J.D. Wagner. Wagner plays in an infield for no award. Ward slowed it down enough to retrieve it. Back for Wagner. In for Jackson. Jackson. Ward. Down the line for Wagner. Can't keep it in play. Mids just running out of room. Along the end line. Change here. Lockhart off with the mids. Walcott back in. with a header down back near side Forby here's Forby for UMBC Nesheim playing it in Grant sends it away Usta wins it back though
Nesheim. Good ball in. Here's Forby cutting back to his left. Forby taking the shot on the near post. And it goes wide. Here's a look at the replay here. Nice little cut back there by Forby. Frustrated he couldn't put that one on target for him. Betcher. Usta chasing that ball down on the far side. Cuts it back. Usta. Just over 10 minutes to go. Usta scored a fantastic goal in the first half for UMBC. Kelp. Usta on the far side. Mayero. Plays it back. Dribbling it through. That ball dribbled through the top of the 18. And Navy is trying to send a long ball for Kali here. Steruk, Kelp. Kelp, long ball. Nessim. Nessheim. Back across the middle of the field. Here's Kelp. Dropping back was Lott. He'll push forward here. Lott. Taera. Betcher. Try to play the ball. Good ball in. Back across to the back post. And the late runner couldn't get there, but it was the captain, Ehart, just kind of blindly playing that to the back post. Just under 10 minutes to go in a 1-1 game. Here's a replay. Here's Ehart. First time ball back to the back post, but Forby not really that close to that ball. Just under nine minutes to go. Free kick here for the mids. Do we have a winner in this one? Long ball playing for shoots. Falls for Lot here. Forby. Trying to take on Charlie Creel. Nesheim. That'll go out of play. Be a throw in near midfield for the mids. Charlie Creel to take it. Eight and a half to go. Here in Annapolis. Creel will win that ball back. Kelp out in front. Wagner will intercept it. Jackson for Wagner. Here's J.D. Wagner cutting infield. Leaves it for David Jackson. Jackson. And the ball here for the mids. Finds Kali in the area. Kali on the turn. Ooh, the flag came up. That was close. He had Dylan Nesteric right on him. Sterek has a couple times tonight really played a, a quick offside trap, and I wonder if he got Kali there. Coelho's header back going to the Navy end, but Zach Wagner is there for the mids. Seven and a half to play. Tough ball. Walcott gets it, though, to Creel. Nicely done by the mids. Here's David Jackson through the center circle. Jackson pushing forward. Far side, though, award. Here's no award for the mids. Ward angling into the area. Cuts back to his left. No award taking the shot. Jones making the save there. I don't think Ward got as enough on that as he wanted to. And in the end, a pretty easy save for Quantrell Jones. Here's the fancy footwork by Ward to set up that chance. You know, BC gives it away as we return to live action here. Kali shoots. Overlapping run by Coelho. Shoots a little delayed in trying to find him. Now gets it to Creel. Here shoots. Shoots with some space. Shot blocked. Eckhart. Forby. Far side got knocked away. UBC has to retrieve it in the back, and they'll build back out of it. Forby. 
driving forward. Here's Cairo with a shot, gets deflected and goes wide. And UMBC wins a corner here. And that was Kelp pushing forward again. Kind of kick-starting the offense from the center back position. Lasse Kelp, just under six to go here. Jago Lott will take this free kick. Junior from Somerset, England. Lott to take the corner. Ball in towards the near post. Holbrook with two hands, punches it away. Sean Thompson playing that ball. It's flicked in, and Holbrook, Thompson just coming on the field, a sophomore from Glen Burnie, Maryland, and Mount St. Joe. Shoots back to Creel. Creel playing Walcott. And back nicely by the Retrievers. Ehart, Lott, far side, Usta. Kelp in the middle of the field. Nobody really there for UMBC. Shoots back, heels it for Walcott. Walcott for Jackson. Just under five to go. Noah Ward brings it down nicely. Here's Ward. Janie Wagner. Wagner. Knocked away by Usta. Wagner able to win it back, though. Middle of the park, Coelho. Coelho sprays it back near side for Creel. Creel. Here's Coelho. Coelho on the turf. Nice turn inside. Walcott shot. Save made by Jones. Connor Walcott with another chance. This time, Quantrell Jones makes his uh, fifth save of the night, or fourth save of the night, I should say. Good ball played in here by Coelho on the deck. Good turn by Walcott, and a good save by Jones. Corner here for the mids. Back to live action. Jackson plays it in. It gets all the way through the first line of players. It falls for Shoots. Shoots trying to pop it over but could not. Steruk back the other way, gets it up to Cairo. Retrievers will make two changes here. Usta, he was hampered. He's coming off for UMBC. Be trying to play it back there. Here's Kelp. Tyler Harry in for the Retrievers. Here's Ehart into the area. Pushing forward that time is Betcher. Wins another corner for UMBC. Under three to go here. 1-1 one, one game. Late stages of this one. Corner here for the Retrievers. Ball played to the near post. Holbrook has to push it aside. Not sure what that was by Thompson. That was a pass or a shot. Either way, it goes out for a goal kick for the mids. Two minutes to go. 88th minute tied at one. Wagner. Jones will smack it back the other way. Betcher wins it initially. Era playing it off of Ehart. Late chance here, Forby. Forby will cross it, headed out by Zach Wagner, and it will stay in play. And Ward trying to clear it back out. Kelp is there for UMBC. 90 seconds to go. Kelp was the top of the area. Got it down there. 
That's sure. On the outside, that's him. Playing it in towards the six, the header. Kaira denied by Holbrook there. Great chance late for UMBC. Kaira didn't get everything he wanted on that header. Under a minute to go. Ward is fouled there and a free kick for the Mids. Mids will take it quickly. Long ball. And out of the back. Shoots will get it back for the Mids. Sandwiched by two retrievers there. And cleared back to J.D. Wagner. Here's Coelho. On the outside for Noah Ward. 30 seconds left to go for Noah Ward in the Mids. It's deflected, spinning, and the Mids will get a corner out of it. One last chance here. Mids will push forward. Last chance of the ball game. 20 seconds left to go. Corner. Jackson to take it. Drives it in. Near post. Knotted down. And Nine, goal kick. Nine, eight, no. Seven, Let's see. Six, five, four, Corner kick. Three, Actually, the two, <laughs> official four. is pointing for a goal kick. Navy's trying to get a corner kick out of it. <laughs> that will end in a 1-1 draw. The referee pointing for a goal kick. Navy said, let's take a corner. Uh, and they aren't able to as the official pointing to the goal kick spot. And that'll do it for this one. As the mids outshoot UMBC 15 to 12. Quantrell Jones makes four saves. Ian Holbrook make, uh, excuse me, Pierce Holbrook makes three saves for the mids. And uh, two 